Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Gronify. In this video, we are going to share how you can create some interactive dashboards with the help of ChatGPT. If you want to create an interactive dashboard something like this, as you could see currently on my screen, just with the help of ChatGPT, no coding required, nothing, this video is for you. I'm going to teach you end-to-end -end things like how you can do it. I'm also going to help you with a couple of errors that you might encounter. Typically what we get is uh, an Excel file and that Excel file can be in either XLSX format, the newer format of Excel file, or it can be um, in your older format, which is XLSX, XLS, right? So I'll start with XLS. I have already written some prompts that you can um, use. Um, like for example, I just copy this particular font uh, prompt and paste it over here and will upload um, an Excel file and I'll upload this Excel file also uh, for this particular analysis. Intentionally, I have used an older version of XLS, um, Excel file which is .xls format as you could see here also. Typically, if you are not using any standard um, uh, newer library, you are expected to get an error. Let's see how it goes. If you want to see what code chat GPT is running, you can click on this analyzing button. And if you want to have this default, like always you want to see this, you can click this always show details also. It's up to you. So I'm getting some error. It says missing optional dependency XLRD. It's trying to install it, but let's see if it's able to do it or not. So it says it looks like the file in the uh, is in the older format which required some library they will try it but it says further that this particular library is not available so you are stuck now the option is to convert this xls file format to a newer version of excel file format which is xlsx so what i'm going to do is i'll quickly open any website and convert xls to xlsx file converter use any one um, uh, every every file works um, so from my computer I'll quickly select my file and here it goes it's asking me to convert I'll just do it depending upon the file size it might take a few seconds okay it's available I'll just download it and that's done now what I'll do is I'll just copy the previous prompt again and all these prompts will be available in the uh, video description. You can use it directly. And now I'll select the newer file that I have just downloaded. Here it is. You are also advisable to use maybe a CSV file format which works better uh, for um, you know for any such kind of analysis again. It's um, it has started doing the analysis and yes, it has um, Read the file already. It's taking a bit of time depending upon the uh, depending upon the um, file size that you have If you want you can also convert this XLS file format into CSV file format that's always um, you know good to use and then use it like for example if I have to convert this like XLS to CSV, I can again open any website, whatever is available online and can use it. Okay. I'm going back. Okay. It's still taking time, but it has showed me a few things. Let's look at what prompt I gave. I gave analyze the attached Excel file and suggest six key KPI I should follow for my sales dashboard. Also show those visualization. So let's see what it gives me. So it says the Excel file contains three sheets, orders, people and return. It also gives you the details of it and then it says I'll first inspect the order sheet as it is most relevant for sales KPI. The order sheet contains these information and these are the six KPI that uh, uh, that will be used. Right. As we are having uh, other sheets also, so chat GPT might take some time and uh, will analyze that also. For me, I'm only interested in my order sheet. So you have two options just specify what chat GPT should look at it or better provide the CSV file format. Like for example, uh, for this particular analysis, as I showed you in this website, you can do this. I have already downloaded the CSV file. So now I am selecting CSV file and attaching the same, same prompt over here. 
this should be faster and uh, should be quick for you to uh, look at the output still it might take um, a few seconds to maybe a minute to show you okay so it has loaded it says the data set contains key sales related columns including order details customer details product details and sales matrix it says the six sales kpis for your dashboard are total sales revenue that is the sum of all sales transaction total profit average order value profit margin top selling products sales by region so these are the six top kpi chat gpt has identified for you you can ask them to change it depending upon what direction of analysis or visualization you want to do it also showed me the six quick chart for all those six kpi um, okay they have showed me four actually right yeah so it says like here are the visualization for your six key sales kpi but in turn it has only showed me four that it might have find the most relevant with but anyway these are not looking good so we'll proceed with our uh, target chart that i showed you at the beginning of the video so now what i'm going to do is the chart that i showed you this is more of a web page chart right and for that we need to make some changes the changes in the sense like we'll have to give a, um, a json file or json data to chat gpt and should ask it to uh, create the visualization accordingly so for that what i'm going to do is i'll quickly check csv to json converter and let's see how it was remember if you are good with these charts you are good to go ahead with you can download these charts also right as you could see save image to downloads blah 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 right but we want to create a dashboard and the dashboard can be accessible something like this right which is interactive enough as you could see i can roll over to it it shows me the details I can download it, I can zoom in, zoom out, everything I can do it. For that, you need to follow little additional steps. First step is convert your CSV file into a JSON file. Right? Again, you can use any website available. I'm just clicking on the first one. Uh, CSV to JSON here. Let's select the CSV file that I have already downloaded. Okay. It might take again a bit to load it. It's loaded. Click on convert and it should be already available here you are depending upon the number of rows you can see all the data like for example row number row id 1 these are the data we have available like order id order date ship date and so on so what i am going to do is for the demonstration purpose i'll ask chat gpt to just work on one um, row of data right so i just copy paste this one copy from here paste it over here right and then I'll copy the third prompt that is here's the structure of my sales file in JSON format. Please analyze the file and suggest six key data visualization matrix that would be best fit to create an interactive sales dashboard. Please explain all for better understanding and suggest one best visualization you will use. So what I'm asking it is it should uh, suggest me six KPIs. It should also select me for uh, suggest me for those six KPIs what is going to be the best data visualization and explain me this might take a bit but uh, okay so now we have output available so it tells me total sales and total profit explanation that's the first kpi by the way it says total sales is this total profit is this it helps you track overall overall revenue and profitability trends then it tells me best visualization either i can use kpi cards or bar chart right and then gives you why it has selected it or probably what that visualization is for second kpi is sales by category and subcategory for this it has selected either a tree map or a bar chart third is average order value a goth chart or a line chart then sales by region and a sheet that's for geographic heat map and then top selling products that's for horizontal bar chart and finally discount impact on profitability that's a scatter plot now if you want to make some changes you can ask chat gpt like okay fine for the let's say for top selling products instead of horizontal bar chart you may ask it to create a tree map or whatever works best for your requirement for me i think this is good i don't need any further change for now so i'll move to the next one now what i am asking it to do is let me just copy this and then we'll talk about it so i'm asking is now please create an interactive sales dashboard with the six visualizations using html and javascript why because we have to create this as a web page please use the latest version of plotly.js 
Plotly, as you most of you know, it's all it's a library uh, like Matplotlib, uh, let's see born, right? It's a library that help you create amazing visualization. So please use the latest version of Plotly.js CDN and include the upload feature so that we can upload the JSON file, right? So I want to whatever JSON file we uh, created, remember, I'm just downloading it. And I want this JSON file with all the rows to be available while I create the dashboard. Remember, in to your chat GPT, you just added one row of it, right? So it will give you the sample. And that's why I'm asking chat GPT to give an option to upload the JSON file so that the chart will be available on all the records. It should have an option to generate the dashboard based on the uploaded data from the local computer. And it should generate the interactive sales dashboard based on that. So be as specific as much as you can on the prompt. Let's see. Okay. So now it seems, okay, so it's already working. It says I'll create an interactive sales dashboard using HTML, JavaScript, and Plotly.js. And the dashboard will include these things, right? It's also telling you, okay, this, these are the HTML codes for your dashboards, all the other details. It might take a bit to generate all the codes. So now you have an option. Either you can keep this one and start chatting here, or if you don't want this, you can just click click uh, uh, close and it will keep on working in the background. Okay, still it's typing means still it's generating the code for you. Once done, okay, it says here is the uh, interactive dashboard link, and I can copy this link, put it in a notepad notepad file, save that notepad file as a as an HTML, and it will be available. But I want that work to be done by ChatGPT. Why to make our life difficult? For that, I'm giving another prompt to ChatGPT and asking it, please give me this file in an HTML downloadable file. You don't have to do anything. If you don't have to do this, just copy these HTML codes, paste it in a notepad file, save that notepad file as an HTML file and just open it. And that's it. But now as I don't want to do that, or I want to show you how ChatGPT can do that work for you as well, I just use this prompt. And now as you can see, ChatGPT is analyzing it. What it's doing is the same thing that you will do manually, right? So it's basically creating that HTML file for you. Okay, it's available now. So it says you can download the interactive file from the below link. Once downloaded, open it in web browser, upload your JSON sales file and generate the dashboard. That's it. Let's download it. Okay, so once it is downloaded, all you need to do is just go to that particular file and double click on it. Here you go. So it opened this file and now it's asking me to choose file. So I am going to choose the JSON file that we downloaded from this particular website. And now I'll click on generate dashboard. And here you go. This dashboard has given a first KPI visualization that is your sales trend over time. Next one is profit margin by category. Third is sales by region. Fourth is sales by customer segment. Fifth is discount versus profit. And sixth is top 10 products by sales. So for all the six top KPI for your interactive sales dashboard, ChatGPT has already created graphs using Plotly. Now, why we call it as interactive? Because now you can download this. Once you hover on this chart, you will see all the functionality available. So once you click on this, it's giving you an option to download plot as NPNG. Once you click it, it will just download it. That's it. Then you can zoom in, zoom out. Like for example, if I want to zoom in, see here, right? You can zoom out, zoom in, depending upon what you are looking for. You can pan it, right? So you can scroll it. Then you can zoom in, you can zoom out, whatever you want. Then you can do it auto scale that will give you in the original version. Then you can reset access age, and then this is produced with plotly.js version 2.27.0. Now, once you hover on these charts, it will tell you the details of it. So for example, if I hover on this, it should tell me like, okay, it was done on 18th of March, 2021. And the total value was 21.8 thousand. That's the sales on this particular date. Similarly for others, you can do the same thing. Like for example, profit margin by category. So 
In office, we are getting 126,000. In furniture, it's 19.7 thousand. In technology, it's 146.54. Now, if you want to sort this chart into something, you can again provide the prompt and can ask like, generate the chart, but it should be in descending order based upon your profit or based upon your sales, depending upon what you are looking for. So broadly, this is what I wanted to show you in this particular video. We have started with an old version of an Excel file in XLS format. We converted that back to XLSX format. Then we also converted into CSV that's easier to handle. The SP, uh, process is faster. Then further, as we had to create a web page, so we converted that back to JSON. We developed a file and then downloaded the HTML file. Here we browsed our JSON file and the answer, the output is here for you. I'll upload all these into the video chat bot, the uh, uh, video chat um, uh, descriptions. The last thing I wanted to show you is, um, I think this is some older file that's already in my in my system. By default, uh, let me just check, once uh, that prompt you will be using, by default you might get uh, some older version of the file. All right. Um, let me see if I have it already. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. By default, you will get uh, this kind of um, um, visualization. All right. See here. This kind of visualization you will get, which is like good, not too bad. But the but the problem is it's not that interactive, right? So if you want to create an interactive dashboard, you can use this prompt from the dashboard you created, and that particular dashboard will be something like this right so these are the six prompts that i used in this video use it the way you want change it customize it and download the kind of dashboard or visualization that you require i hope you found this particular video helpful if you did please like the video subscribe to our channel and in the comment box let us know or let me know if you are facing any difficulty i will be happy to share the the data that I used for this video. That's for this one. Thank you.